Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another Nexus 7 video. Now usually I would do this type of video in a basic tutorial or an app review but I thought I'd give you a live review of how this application works and then try and decide that it, if it's really worth doing some proper videos on it. So this is another one of these live video demonstrations and what this basically is is this is my Nexus 7, this is my PC and this is my Nexus 7 controlling the PC. So I can switch to different websites, I can even minimize the entire website and as you can see everything very rapidly is being controlled uh, by my like any electronic device, well, the Nexus 7 there we are. occasionally receives software updates to its operating system. If you're connected to the internet frequently, then these updates should appear. So, that's basically what it does. Now I'll quickly show you how it all works. So the application I used to stream the laptop onto the Nexus 7 was an application called Splashtop 2 HD. Now this application is free from the Google Play Marketplace unlike many of its other similar applications which all cost money. However the drawback is with this one is that first of all you need to set up an account with uh, Splashtop which you didn't have to do previously so it's a bit of one of those tricky situations where you're having to submit personal information and obviously the more accounts you have the more um, vulnerability your personal details are to the, to the internet and also the other drawback is that even though this application is free if you want to stream the Nexus 7 and the laptop on different Wi-Fi networks then you have to pay a subscription. A little advert came up when I used Splashtop which said that the cost was 99 cents a month. Uh, so cheap and probably quite useful but again another one of those barriers which means that I who would very rarely use this application would probably not purchase the subscription. Anyway let's get into how you actually set this up for use. So you would have to download the application for the Nexus 7 and once you have done that uh, then when you open up the uh, device you would then have to create an account and log in. Uh, I've set all my things to do it automatically and so what it's doing now is it's refreshing trying to find a source but it's not going to find a, a source to connect to because at the moment my laptop is switched off and uh, as you can see there it's found my PC but my PC is not turned on so I would have to turn on my PC but there's a little bit more you have to do as well so let me show you what you have to do there. In order for the two uh, devices to communicate to each other you have to download a splash top application for the PC as well. Now again it's absolutely free uh, to get the application uh, and when you're logging in you'll have to use the same login that you've created for the Nexus 7 so you're all connected to the same uh, device. Once the application is uh, installed and up and running it should then automatically uh, connect to the Wi-Fi network and then start transmitting the fact that the computer is available for connecting up. So as you can see here uh, my computer name is saying Rob PC and so on. So what should happen now uh, with any luck, fingers crossed, is if I bring back in the Nexus 7 and unlock it and let's try and, well I don't need to refresh it because the Nexus 7 is automatically looking for it. You can now see that Rob PC is coloured which means that the PC is on and with any luck I should be able to press it and automatically everything will connect and it does it very quickly. That is one of the very good things about this application is uh, it's very quick at uh, connecting uh, the two devices together. So here are a couple of options and gestures. I'm not going to go into too, de too much detail on these. Um, if you want me to give you a full demo then sort of reply in the comments section and I'll uh, do some more investigation on this. But let's just have a look at some uh, few things. Uh, the double finger tap does rotate, does scroll and you can see how quickly the two are reacting on here. One thing I have noticed very quickly though is if I, because the tabs here at the top are very small on the Nexus 7, if I want to try and zoom in and then get to the top, I can only go so far, I seem to be stuck, I can't get to the absolute top of the screen. So I can go down 
but that's as far as I can go back up. So obviously when I extend it again, then I can see the top of the screen. And just imagine trying to touch one of these cross buttons on the tabs. It's very hard to do. A couple more gesture things that you can do. If you press and then start dragging on a window, automatically it will start dragging the window around, which is fine. To do a right click press, I press and hold for a short while and then it acts as a right click, so uh, that obviously works there. And then if we go to a website, I'll just show you how the typing works. So I'll tap on the address bar and then nothing happens. So what I have to do, I tap on the address bar and then this little arrow here gives me options. So then I click on the keyboard and then it knows that I want to type something in. and it doesn't do anything. There we are. Uh, an odd way of picking up the text there, as you can see, I wonder if it's my keyboard that's causing the confusion here, but anyway, it does seem to be working somewhat, and I think I've managed to direct it to the BBC website. It wasn't picking, it doesn't seem to be picking up my clicks I had to type in a full word and then press space before it detected what I was... As you can see, I'm pressing S here a lot of times, but the web browser isn't changing the address, and then when I press space, it picks up all the S's. So it might be a bit of a keyboard issue there, uh, rather than a criticism of the way it's operating. But nonetheless, uh, you can see there that the keyboard is working, and then to take down the keyboard, again, obviously I was pressing the keyboard icon, and it disappears. One final quick demonstration I'm going to show you is that, of course, the Nexus 7 does have the ability to plug in USB devices. So I'm going to plug in my OTG cable into the Nexus 7, and then what I'm going to do is plug in a mouse to the Nexus 7, which should hopefully give me some uh, mouse control. Now, you'll have to probably just trust me a little bit on this, because my camera is not going to be able to fit everything in at the same time, but I'll just show you there now that the um, Nexus 7 has its OCG cable plugged into a mouse, which is here, and if I just zoom out a little bit, maybe I'll be able to do this. So, you might not see it much on the screen, but you can probably see on the Nexus 7 now, I'm moving the mouse around, and it's highlighting different things, and then if I click on one, which will probably be the best demonstration, I clicked on the mouse input going into the Nexus 7, which is now feeding through to the laptop, but unfortunately this website doesn't seem to be working, which means that my demonstration hasn't quite worked, so let's try another one, let's try that link. So there we are, that was a better demonstration now, clicking onto a sports page with a mouse and it going through to the laptop. I'm not entirely sure what else you could do with the USB input into the Nexus 7, but maybe that's a question for you to ask me uh, about how to use Splashtop. So this was a very rough guide to how Splashtop works for Nexus 7 uh, tying into a laptop or another uh, uh, computer for Wi-Fi connectivity to control it from your device. So any questions please ask and if I do get enough uh, questions I will um, do a bit more of a, a more in-depth video and maybe some proper basic tutorials. Just come up with a bit of an error here. I don't know why. It's wanting me to ask the ask me to change the colour scheme to improve performance. That might be because the Nexus 7 is plugged into the um, PC. But that was just a little thing. It's just come up just as I've decided to finish the video. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you again soon in yet more Nexus 7 videos.